reduce the given network into a single voltage source in series with the resistance finally it should be reduced into a single voltage source in series with the resistance using source transformation and shifting it was asked in video examination december 12 for 6 marks first step is uh first step is identify identify whether any source that is any current source is it in parallel with the resistance or else any voltage source is it in par in series with the resistance that is not available here first we do apply the source shifting first source shifting should be applied here i do keep a as it is so i do apply i do redraw the network here to o 5 ohm 2 ohm resistance 5 ohm resistance you can see here to this node 45 amperes current is coming from this node of 45 amperes current is leaving for that reason what i will do i do make use of a uh, two current sources each of value 45 and from this node 45 amperes of current is leaving all right then i do short at this node it is called as a source shifting here i done i have done slight modification to this current source and i do read i do write as it is 8 ohm resistance and a 10 ohm resistance then one more thing is first apply v shift here at this point the positive voltage is applied here at this point the positive voltage is applied do you agree yeah then the negative voltage is applied to this node for that what i will do positive negative positive negative a negative negative or shorted and it should be connected here and 3 ohm resistance and a 6 ohm resistance they are one and the same have you understood a uh, source shifting as well as uh, sorry current shifting as well as source shifting is applied so that further it can be reduced into its simplest form applied i shift on 45 amperes current source applied v shift on 30 volt supply and you should be very careful you should be very careful regarding the values good the advantage of this shift is advantage of this shift is uh, we can apply source transformation okay keep a as it is now can we write current source in parallel with the resistance into see here this is the direction so that this is the value okay so these two current source in parallel with the resistance can be converted into a voltage source in series with the resistance it is two then for what is v what is v v is equals to i into r what is i 45 what is r 2 45 into 2 it is a 90 volt similarly if u is at is as it is then because of this direction this could be the positive and it is negative and what is voltage is this voltage equals to i into r 45 into 5 tell me your answer is this 225 everyone should make use of uh, okay please explain voltage shift process once again sir okay all right it is simple thing here uh, 30 volt is available this if this is the voltage source so we cannot apply 
a source transformation here because none of the registers are in series nor parallel. For that reason, what I will do? At this point, what is voltage? It is 30 volt. At this point, it is 30 volt. At this node, it is a minus 30 volt. Is it same? It is 30 volt at this point. It is 30 volt at this point. And it is grounded. Where it is grounded at this point? The negative of these two voltage sources are taken and shorted at this point. Yes, this is one and the same. Okay. So, 45 into 2 using Ohm's law, 45 into 2 is 90 ohm, 90 volt in series with 2 ohm resistance. 45 into 5 is it 225 in series with the 5 ohm resistance. Okay, right? Next is 8 ohm should be kept as it is. Then plus minus. It is what? A 30 volt. And here a 10 ohm resistance should be as it is. And this connection should be there. Next is next is negative positive 30 volt. What is that value? A 3 ohm. What is this value? A 6 ohm. All right. Any doubt till now? Okay. Now 90 volt and 30 volt are they in series yes they are in series whether they are added or subtracted they should be subtracted because plus plus they are connected so that 90 minus 30 it is 60 so i do write a as it is then 8 and 2 they are in series it is 10 ohm and two voltage sources can be reduced into single voltage source. It is 60 volt and the direction is according to the largest value. Similarly, 225 is as it is. And 10 ohm and 5 ohm, they are in series so that it is a 15 ohm. So that it is 15 ohm. All right. Next thing is, next thing is, do you say that 30 volt and 3 ohm, they are current uh, voltage source in series with the resistance. Can it be converted into, can it be converted into a current source? In, series, in parallel with the 3 ohm resistance. And here, 6 should be as it is. It is B. Have you understood? So it is 3 ohm and it is a 6 ohm. And what is I? I is equals to V by R. V is 30. R is 3. 30 by 3 is or 10 amperes. So we have applied source transformation for this branch. All right. Next, let us write A as it is. I do apply source transformation for the that branch. So it is 10 ohm as it is. What is I? 60 by 10. 6 amperes. Next thing is, you should follow the current direction. It is very, very important. And 15 ohm. What is 225 divided by 15? What is 225 divided by 15? It is of 15 amperes. All right. So this short should be as it is. And write these two registers as it is. I will tell you the next concept. I will tell you the next concept. It is B. It is uh, 10 amperes, uh, 3 ohm and it is 6 ohm. Okay. T 
till this point any doubt till this point do you have any doubt good then till this point is it okay next thing is next thing is uh, a is as it is so i do write i do write the above circuit in this fashion do you say that they are one another same are they same it is 6 amps 10 ohm 15 amps or 15 ohm 10 amps 3 ohm a 6 ohm they are one and the same see here from this point and this point do you say that it is a single node that is there here it is just an extra wire all those wire extra wires are reduced and it is written in a, a simple manner so instead of connecting this wire at this point it can be connected here also they are one and the same it is also same so that the same thing is followed the equivalent circuit is rewritten the advantage is we can easily understand so 6 amperes of current and 15 uh, 15 amperes of current they are in parallel so that it can be converted into a single current source because added 15 and 6, six they should be subtracted because of the opposite direction 16 minus sorry 15 minus 6 it is 9 amperes the direction should be according to the highest value and also and also 10 ohm and 15 ohm they are in they are in parallel the equivalent resistance is 10 into 15 divided by 10 plus 15 it is 150 divided by 25 what's the answer 115 divided by 25 it is a 6 ohm all right and i do write uh, 10 ampere as it is and 3 ohm and 6 ohm they are in parallel it can be written into a single ohm a single resistance 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6 18 divided by 9 that is a 2 ohm b is as it is all right so next point next point a is as it is now can we convert a voltage source in a uh, current source in parallel with the resistance into a voltage source in series with the resistance it is 6 ohm what is voltage voltage equals to i into r what is i 9 into 6 what is the value it is 54 volt direction polarity it is positive and it is negative all right then come to this point come to this point these two can be converted into voltage source in series with the resistance i do write here 2 ohm and voltage source direction should be it should be negative and it should be positive and what is voltage 10 into 2 i into r it is uh, 20 volt now can it be converted into can it be converted into a single voltage source in series with the resistance it is at home whether they are added or subtracted whether they are added or subtracted let me know 54 volt and 20 volt whether they are added or subtracted what could be the answer subtracted good all right then what could be the answer here it is 34 volt then polarity should be according to the highest value plus minus so this is what the final result it can also be written as it can also be written as a current source 
in parallel with the resistance between the point A and B. It is 34 divided by 8 amperes. It is 8 ohm. They are one and the same. All right. 